everybody. Hope you're having a good morning. And this video, I would like to talk about uh, the important uh, when. I would like to talk about uh, the whole. I would like to talk about uh, physical media collecting, and you know, people who collect physical media. Uh, such as myself, but I don't really like to say I'm collecting because I feel like that is more on the lines that feels like more like, you know, I'm comic book collecting or I'm, you know, baseball card collecting and I'm just having these things set around and I'm not really using them. I prefer to say I call it my film library because to me that's what it is. It's my film library. I'm going to watch everything that I have. I, I have a library. It's like any sort, it's like having a book, okay? I may go back and reread it. You know? I'm going to watch everything that I own. I'm not just going to buy DVDs or films and Blu-rays and 4Ks or whatever. I'm not just going to buy them just for the sake of having something just for the sake of having it. If I'm going to buy it, then I'm going to watch it and it's something that I either want to see or I feel interested in and I'm curious about to see. You know, that's why I have, you know, the films that I have is because I wanted to see them. I was curious about them to pick them up and watch them. Or there were films that people suggested to me and I decided to take them up on it and watch them. So I don't necessarily like the term collecting when I'm talking about my films because I'm not collecting. I feel I'm not I'm not collecting comic books. They're not just gonna sit on a shelf and I'm never gonna, you know, put them into the player. That's false. I'm going to put them in the player eventually. But something that comes with this is that I think it's not, for me, it's not just about, you know, preserving the physical media, but to me, it's having that ownership of that film when I look at it on my shelf and I know I can watch it anytime I want. That feeling of, you know, ownership, even though I don't really own it, it it's something special for me. And I like having a wide range of films in my library. Because I like to watch all types of films. I like, you know, certain films more than others, but I like to revisit films all the time. Films that maybe I didn't think were good when I first got them, but, you know, I'll watch things two or three times before I really make a decision of whether or not I like it or don't like it. Now, that's not to say that I have my opinions after the first watching where it's like, man, that was horrible. And there are films that I've only seen once, and they are films that I will only ever see once. But when I feel like I need to talk about in terms of, you know, growing your film collection, you know, this is something that's not like baseball card collecting. And if you're interested in starting a film library or film collection, you shouldn't be doing it because you know, you hope that one day, you know, this film is going to become really popular or, you know, this film is going to make a whole bunch, of, is going to make you a whole bunch of money on resale or anything like that. I feel like it's the opposite. You know, you should buy the films that you're going to watch. You should buy the films that you're interested in seeing. You should buy the films that make you interested in film you should buy the films of the films that you enjoy watching and maybe it's just things that you're curious and checking out but you shouldn't buy films just for the sake of buying films because you're interested in just growing your collection or you're just collecting them because I feel like when you get to the point of you're just collecting them and you're not actually picking them up and watching them then it's almost like hoarding you know, it's like having a comic book collection or a baseball card collection. And you're not ever going to look at them. They're just going to sit in a box somewhere. And you're never going to do anything with them. 
you know, if you're baseball card collecting, then maybe you're trading all the time. But if you're comic book collecting, then if you're not picking up and reading the comics, then why are you buying them in the first place? You know, and I feel like that goes the same thing with films. You know, if you're just buying films just for the sake of buying films, then what's the point of having them if you're never going to watch them? You know, you should buy the films that you're going to watch. Maybe you only watch once, and if then, you know, you can trade them back in for, you know, store credit somewhere or for money. But you should buy the films that, you know, you're going to rewatch, or maybe you would like to revisit at some point, or you're just curious in and having, and maybe it's something that you're not going to immediately revisit, but you know at some point you're, you know you're going to want to watch it again more than twice or more than three times and I feel like that's a good reason to buy any film and it's not just for the sake of buying a film just for the sake of buying a film you're buying a film that you want in your library so that way at any time on any given day you can go and pick it up and you don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to come back again on rotation or go away again on rotation on any sort of streaming service or you're not going to worry about having to pick up another film, uh, pick up another streaming service because, you know, the streaming service that the film was on is no longer on that film because the studio started their own streaming service. So I feel like it's in that sense of those are, you know, good reasons to buy any sort of film. And, you know, when we talk about film collecting, you know, if you're never going to bust open the wrap and take out the DVD from its case, then why are you buying the film in the first place? Because there are people out there like myself who want to buy films to watch them. You know, they're not just going to sit on our shelves and collect dust for years and years. No, we're going to take them off the shelf, we're going to put them in the player, and we're going to watch the heck out of them. Because that's what we are. We like watching movies. We're film buffs, we're cinephiles, you know, whatever you want to call it. You know, that's who I am, you know, that's the type of people that are buying films, that are still buying films, and who have large, you know, libraries of films. So I prefer to say that I have a film library more than my film collection or my film, you know, whatever. You know, because I'm not collecting, I'm growing a library. I'm growing a library so that way I can have it at my fingertips. And, you know, it's something that I enjoy deeply. I love my film library. And so I think when we talk about sort of, you know, buying films, it's, you know, I think any type, you know, there's not a right or wrong way of, you know, how to buy a film. You don't have to buy everything from the Criterion Channel or the Criterion Collection. You don't have to buy everything on 4K Blu-ray. You don't have to buy everything on Blu-ray. You can buy things on DVD, and that's perfectly fine. Some, most of my films, I would say, are on DVD. And that's mainly because sometimes I feel like I don't need to have this film on Blu-ray, and I don't think that all my films should be on Blu-ray, and definitely not all my films are on 4K. I don't own that many 4K, hardly any 4K uh, DVDs. The only time I've ever really bought a 4K was because the option for Blu-ray or DVD wasn't available and it was like cheap. You know, it was half off of what it would normally be. It was on sale. So that's the reason why I have that. So I think it doesn't matter what type of format you're buying your film in. If that's the format you enjoy and you're okay with and you enjoy the quality of that format, then that's fine. So I don't think there's a right or wrong way to purchase your format of film. I don't think there, but I definitely think there's a right or wrong way in terms of, you know, how you go about purchasing the films that you are purchasing. You know, definitely purchase within your means, you know, but, you know, you don't have to buy everything in 4K. You don't have to buy everything in 4K. You know, if you're like me, you... It's perfectly fine to have a mixture of everything. 
So that's just what I want to say about uh, in terms of physical media and purchasing films. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like button and consider subscribing. Ciao for now.